Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So I'm a hot mess today, don't judge. But I've been out here, I've been cleaning out this bed, weeding it, um, getting it all ready. This bed has never been planted before. Last year when I did my garden path, I created it and I composted it. And I got it all ready for planting, but it was too late in the season to actually plant. So now I'm going to go ahead and plant some spring bulbs in it. And then late spring, early summer, we will plant it with other things. But for today, we are planting spring bulbs. So I have two packs of allium bulbs. These have 10 in each pack. And I have a pack of 30. Oh, goodness. A pack of 30 daffodil bulbs. So when you're planting bulbs like this, you want to plant three or two to a hole. The alliums, we could have done more. We could have done like seven to nine since they're the small bulbs. If they're the large alliums, you really just want to do one bulb per hole. Alliums. I'll put a closer picture. Grow up really tall. These grow up to 32 inches tall. So that's, I mean, almost three feet, about three feet. So these are going to grow up big and tall above the tulips, above the daffodils, above the other things. And they only are going to bloom for a short season. So you want to plant them far enough apart. You can plant other things for the rest of the season in between, but they all still come up and give you that pop of color in spring. These, the daffodils, we're gonna plant three to a hole and they will multiply as the seasons go on. I've never planted onions before, so we will see. Um, they may be a one and done. Mom doesn't think they'll bloom until next year, so probably plant them this year, see them the year after that. They should multiply, bulbs usually do, but you never know. I've never planted onions. If you have experience with those, leave, leave your knowledge down below. Because uh, normally I watch a lot of videos, but I just saw these at the gardening center and I, I liked them. So I picked them up and I figured I'll give them a try, right? I've seen them in a lot of pretty gardens on YouTube, so I wanted to try them and they should do well here. So crossing my fingers. We also have a bag of 12 gladiolus um, that I completely forgot about. I thought I had bought some gloves and some foxglove. I still can't find the foxglove. I've been keeping these in my fridge um, until it's time to plant because colder is better for bulbs and we're going to go ahead and do these. So 30 means I'm going to do 10 holes all around the perimeter of these bulbs, these bulbs, these beds, since daffodils are much shorter than the alliums. And then we'll probably pop the glads somewhere up here too, because why not? I still have to clean out the rest of my beds, but since it's not quite time for that yet, I'm just letting them go. They're not hurting anything. And we're just going to focus on this one today. We've also got some iris bulbs that are going to go over there. So for today, spring bulbs, alliums, daffodils, glabs. I will show you the iris bulbs as well. I've planted some iris last year and the fans are already coming up. So that's fun. Let's go.
it. We've got one, two, three sets of bulbs right here that will leave me room on either side here and back here to plant annuals or perennials for the next season. And then we've got our whole little tree ring done. We did 20 alliums around the tree and all 30 of the daffodils around the outside. There was just so many extra daffodils, but you want a close up. Here is the packaging for the alliums. They should be really pretty around that tree. And here's the info. The packaging for the daffodils did not have any info, so I will look that up, put it on the screen, but cannot wait to see what this flower bed looks like. Next up is going to be cleaning out my flower beds so that we can start planting them for spring and then summer. So if you guys liked this video, stick around. I will have more garden projects coming up. All these lambs here need to be cleaned out and separated. We'll plant some of those dun, 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 over here as well. So like, comment, subscribe, and I will be back with my next gardening video. Bye. You thought it was the end of the video, didn't you? Like I said, I wanted to plant some gladiolus bulbs and iris bulbs in this part of the flower bed and a few on the other side as well. So in between what you saw five seconds ago and now it's been many days of cleaning out the bed, cleaning out all this lambs here, getting all the leaves out. Compost is going in tomorrow. So I decided go ahead and plant my iris, my gladiolus bulbs bulbs now since it's spring and they need to get in the ground or they're not going to do well. And as you can see, using the auger is easy and quick, but it, it definitely splings dirt everywhere. So since I wanted to use my auger to dig these holes, better do it now than after the compost goes in. So I am planting three different types of gladiolus bulbs. Um, they're just different varieties, but I will show you the bags. One bag doesn't have any information, so I will try to put what I can find up on the screen for you. But I'm putting three to five bulbs in each hole. Everything needs to be four inches deep. Technically, you want two to four inches between bulbs, but I want slightly packed um, plantings. So I'm doing mine a little tighter than that because I want them to pop up in between and around all my other plants. And I'm not sure that all these bulbs are going to grow since I did get one of the bags from Walmart on a whim yesterday. So we're just putting them in and we're gonna see what happens. Woo! Also, I love these leggings. Here are all the bulbs, same as with the other bulbs. We have a bottom, we have a top, and they just go in right like this, four inches deep, cover them with dirt, and then water them in.